Yo, what is going on guys? It's Nick and today I'm coming at you guys with a commentary on Carnage and today's gameplay is a triple nuclear on Black Ops 2 by Carnage Sharp. As you guys can see, like I said, it's Black Ops 2 which means we are going to multi-cod today. Hope you guys are okay with that. Hope you guys do enjoy this Black Ops 2 gameplay. If you do, be sure to drop a like down below uh, if we could shoot for 1,000 likes. It sounds like a pretty amazing goal to me. It really, really shows us that you guys are enjoying the videos. It's the best way you can show us support just by clicking that thumbs up button. It only takes a second. We would, like I said, extremely appreciate and if you guys do enjoy the gameplay please please be sure to go check out carnage sharp his link will be down below in the description as well as mine underneath if you enjoy the commentary also be sure to subscribe to carnage if you're new to the clan and um follow us on twitter and instagram if you want to stay up to date with everything love you guys all so much try to enjoy the commentary let's do it all right guys so today's commentary i'm going to tell you guys a story i haven't told a story over here in a while so i'm kind of excited to do that i hope you guys will enjoy it and um this is a story about i was probably in i would say maybe fourth or fifth grade back when I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards all the time okay so any of you guys who have ever collected any sort of cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards Pokemon cards even sports cards that was like a big thing back when I was in you know third fourth fifth grade I'm not really sure exactly but around those you know around that age level and um, back then I would get extremely jealous of kids that had better cards than me I would say I think everybody did I think that was just natural there was always a kid who had better cards than you had his family made up have more money or something and you to open more packs of cards and there was always a kid with better cards and he would always get super jealous so I don't know about you guys but for me personally I used to be a complete a-hole I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I used to steal my friends cards and I'm not gonna get into every little detail but I would literally kneel next to like the dead pile in Yu-Gi-Oh and I would swipe their cards as they died and pretend like nothing happened and then I would come into school a couple days later with their cards and pretend like I got it myself out of a you know pack of cards that I opened at Walmart instead of actually stealing and they'd be like wow that's kind of weird because you know I just lost this card and it would always just seem a little bit sketchy but nobody ever caught me for anything and then one day me and my friend, my, like my best friend. I don't know if you guys have ever had like a best, best friend, but this kid was my best friend for like my whole childhood or a lot of my childhood. And we hang out every single day. Like I'm talking the type of best friend that you see every single day. He lived right next to me, so I always saw him. And we would hang out, we would play Pokemon, we would play Yu-Gi-Oh, we would play some basketball, we would do all that kind of stuff. And one day we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and he has one of the like legendary cards. Now it's not Exodia, because I remember Exodia. There were, I believe, like two dragons and a big blue guy. A big blue guy, and I believe the blue guy was called Obelisk or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure it was Obelisk the something or other, and that was the card that he had. And I looked at that thing, and it had like way more attack than anything that I've ever seen in defense or whatever. I, I think there were attack and defense stats on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I believe it was like insanely, insanely good. And I remember seeing that card and I had to have it. I had to have it. I was like, how did he get this? No idea, but I'm going to take it. So, you know, me being the a-hole child I was, which don't worry guys, I don't do this anymore. I have moved past this stage of my life. I don't know why I was like this. I realized looking back at it now, it was terrible of me, but I stole his card. I stole his obelisk card. And... Uh, he left a, a few a little little while later and a few hours later his mom called back his mom called my mom and was like hey uh, he left one of his Yu-Gi-Oh cards his favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card at your house can you check your third story for it might be on the ground it might be under something it should be around there somewhere he's really upset that he lost his card and asked if you could check it and my mom must have known that I was a little D-bag back then because she checked really quickly and then she came into me and she's like Nick let me see your Yu-Gi-Oh cards where are they like let me see them right now and I showed her my card and she went through them and she found it and she's like how'd you get this card and for a little bit I tried to play it off like oh I have no idea how I got this card you know like I was pretending like I don't know how it got in my deck and eventually she got me to admit that I stole it that was bad because my mom hated stealing. The two times she ever caught me stealing things, she grounded me for a long, long time. I don't know. I was grounded for like a month or two from like TV, uh, PlayStation. I believe I couldn't even use my Yu-Gi-Oh cards anymore, which is crazy because that wasn't even electronic. That was... That was like real stuff, but I was grounded for a long time and I had to apologize to my friend and luckily we were young and he didn't get mad at me and I said sorry and all that good stuff, but it was a bad situation. And never steal cards, guys. Never steal anything. Stealing is bad. I don't know why I did it, what led me to doing it. I was just a jealous kid who wanted to have more all the time. Luckily, I'm not that way anymore, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little story today. If you have a story like that at all, please let me know down in the comments below. If you ever got caught doing anything dumb like that, love you guys all so much. Thank you for listening. Like I said, be sure to go subscribe to Sharp's channel. 
He's a great guy, and for the a few of you might have already heard this story on my channel, so I apologize for that, but I hope if you guys like the commentary, you'll check out my channel as well. It'll be linked below. Love you guys. Be sure to subscribe to Carnage if you enjoy, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. I'm out of here, guys. I'll see ya.